That's what I would do. If you're getting a bunch of crappy leads, I would take that as a personal f from the founders and from my boss. And so I would go out and make my own list. This video is brought to you by Email 10K. Learn how to book meetings with billion dollar brands and take your company to the next level at email10k.com. Today we're gonna spin the animated wheel of subreddits again and pick a subreddit at random to react to. So let's spin the wheel. <laughs> Slash R sales. Here we go. ABC, always be closing. When I said the word sales, I was just like, what, what do I free associate with? What can I say out loud that has to do with sales? Bow body. Bow body, bow body. What's the first bow body? So let's go to slash our sales and let's see what's on the docket. What do we have here on slash our sales? So six hours ago, SDR to sales ops. So I come from the hospitality industry and have some operational experience. Do you have any experience with transitioning from SDR to a sales ops role? Bo body. SDRs, what do you do when your accounts blow? I'm going through my accounts, I haven't prospected yet, and they're all not the ideal customer profile or the personas have opted out of our outreach. I'm still ramping, so more than half of my accounts are owned by other senior SDRs. What do you do when the accounts you have are non-ICP? Try anyway, that's great. I'm glad I said always be closing because this actually reminds me of Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. You gotta sell to the leads you're given. Leads you're given. And I'm gonna link this video from Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Bad news is you got all you got just one week to regain your job, so. You gotta sell to the leads you're given. What's my real advice? What do you do when your accounts blow? Real advice is prospect some new leads, sign up for a lead gen platform like Uplead or Zoom Info and start cranking out your own lists. That's what I would do. If you're getting a bunch of crappy leads, I would take that as a personal f from the founders and from my boss. And so I would go out and make my own list and crush it with my own list. Because them, if they're not gonna give me good leads, they can eat I'm going to sell regardless of whether the leads they give me are good or not. I'm going to make my own leads. That's, that's how I would do that. So I've always been selling corporate gifts and branded collateral for five years. I was a rock star once. Everything kind of fell apart. And so my advice for him was it might be time to change what you're selling if you no longer believe in it. If you do believe in corporate gifting, it still might be time to change careers. Historically, if something's wrong and I'm feeling burned out, I know that something needs to be changed. If I'm making these YouTube videos and I don't like it, then we change the topic or maybe the time of day that we're filming. If we're selling via cold email and I don't like writing the first lines, then I'm hiring someone to do it to make sure it happens. Or if I don't like the calls that are constantly happening, we're booking them at different times or I'm hiring someone else to take those calls. You wanna, you wanna constantly change what you're doing to make sure that you're always engaged. And it's possible to never be burnt out. I know that because I've been living in almost a complete state of flow for the last six years, just bouncing from thing to thing to thing. Sometimes it's work in the movie business. Sometimes it's building a software business. It's whatever you really feel like you wanna do. And I have that freedom because I'm an entrepreneur and because I followed the same process that I teach in Email 10K. If you run your own business, you're able to do whatever you want. But it can be the same if you're working. I know Div recently, who is the producer on this YouTube channel, wanted to do more. So we started a second channel together, me and him. And now he has the opportunity to earn a lot more money and he's doing stuff that he finds fun. I assume, I hope, hope he finds it fun. But that's what you gotta do. If you start getting burned out, you need to change something about what you're doing. Is Glassdoor a reliable source? I was just looking at a company's Glassdoor page and noticed that there were a lot of extremely positive reviews that were all posted on the same day. Companies do tend to ask employees to post. And that's that. The only reason I look at Glassdoor these days are when I'm making an investment, I wanna make sure the CEO is not hated. If I'm gonna buy a bunch of stock in a company, you just wanna make sure, like for instance, I talked about the gap on crazy money and, or I'm about to talk about the gap regardless of, <laughs> depends on how the, uh, the release schedule is. I either talked about or I'm about to talk about the gap. So when you look at Glassdoor, 
you can see how the CEOs are talked about. And I found it's actually a pretty good measure. Yes, sometimes companies will ask their employees to write reviews. I have been personally asked the last time I had a job, I was asked to write a review and I did, and it was a great review. So yeah, this is totally game. But if the CEO of a company is hated, you are gonna see it in the reviews. Like for instance, the CEO of Upwork had a 70% favorability rating, which is not good. The CEO of Gap, if it'll show you, last time I checked had a 90%. So Glassdoor actually is pretty reliable. Let's keep looking. Will I be fired? Applied for an entry level sales job at a logistics company and got selected, worked for four days, but did not generate leads as I was still getting to know the process. Will they fire me? I was asked by the sales lead that I would have to take the day off tomorrow. She also asked for my bank details. You're done, son. If you work four days, Monday through Thursday, and then they ask you to take Friday off and ask for your bank details, you're probably gonna be fired. This video is brought to you by Email 10K. So you don't have a business idea, huh? Do you wanna know what the best business to start is regardless of market conditions? Check out the free presentation at email10k.com. We have over 200 students that are crushing it using this business strategy, even during this time. So check that out, email10k.com. Smash that like button. Liking the videos really encourages the YouTube algorithm. If you want this community to grow, you want more people in here talking, that's the best way to do it. And subscribe for more content like this. We do videos on sales three times a week. Thanks for watching, I'm Alex Berman.